It's either the streets or the sheets. I'm only 150. You should be able to get this. Get out! <laughs> but but I was gonna dress up as a virgin because I'm a virgin. My friend right here is a throat goat. How many shots for you to kiss me on the mouth? Zero. But I won't do it right now. I'm trying to get lucky. Damn. Matt, can I use your guest bedroom? What are you guys for Halloween? Trinity from the Matrix. I'm a random ass convict. I'm a Playboy bunny. We're Playboy bunny. Together are the duo. Sexy Hermione. Oh. I am Ryan Gosling from A Place Beyond the Pines. Barbie and Ken. You can call me yours. I was um, Ricky <laughs> Bobby's wife. I'm a witch. I'm a basic bitch and I'm a bunny. I'm a clown. Magic Mike. Magic Mike. Also Magic Mike. I was white trash. I'm Cinderella. In your opinion, what do you think Halloween is about nowadays? Dressing up in a slutty outfit and going out for Yes! Drinks. Yes! I think it's about getting drunk as fuck and making new relationships with random people you meet. You gotta get drunk, get fucked up, meet other people who are fucked up, and wow. then you vibe together and it's just not coming out. We met yesterday at a bar. What were your Halloween costumes yesterday? I was a pillow princess. I was this, but I had the sleeves on it. <laughs> to get laid tonight. Oh! Do girls go out knowing like okay I'm gonna get laid tonight or is it based off the guys you meet at the bar? Based off the guys. But you have your mind pretty much made up before you go out. Yeah. It's a fashion show for candy. That's all it is. It's a reason to get drunk for adults and for kids. It's still sacred to a certain extent. Trick or treating, candy, dressing up. I think celebrate good time, good people, good experiences, treasure the memories. Dressing up. I've actually not dressed up for Halloween. This is my first year dressing up for Halloween. Okay. It's like, it's about like what you want. Okay. I'm not a real like lingerie girl. I like a good like in between. I just like to have fun with my friends. Halloween is my most favorite holiday. It's about love and scary and, oh. and getting fucked up. I'm just getting drunk as fuck. That's all I'm doing. To be scary. Be honest. To be slut. I think it was to some kind of like sacrificing ritual, right? Oh, so what does it mean to you? Just hanging out with friends. I'm not with the like demonic stuff. For girls who dress like whores. <laughs> I was gonna say to be a slut, yeah. Dress up like a slut. Not giving a fuck. The reason for Halloween, I'll tell you right now, is for girls to act like sluts, even though, even though their man is watching. Blood! I think it makes it difficult for relationships nowadays when it comes to the Halloween time. I don't think so. No? If, if you're secure, you're secure. If you're insecure, that's on you. But what about cheating? I, I feel like the cheating rate goes up during Halloween. You think so? I, I don't think he does. I've had experience in the past. I've been cheating on too much. I think it's more the guys can see it because like the girl usually has the more out their outfit. They go out to bars and most of the time if girls are wearing less clothes. See, I don't know if it's the clothes, I think it's the drinks that they consume. If you have a hard time during Halloween, you're not gonna be a good couple. If you're a good couple, you're just gonna have a better time. I'm single and I'm new in town. Get this, I have no diseases. I'm so clean. you're trying to get some tonight? We'll see. I wouldn't cheat personally. Not you, you seem like a great girl. <laughs> but like other people, they be wild. Um, yeah, I've seen it. You're mature enough to like you shouldn't have any issues like you're okay. going out with your friends whatever so do you girls know that it's gonna cause issues yeah that's why we're single on halloween I know, we, know. we plan for this shit now can you guys guess my uh made last minute on the spot halloween costume you are a gym bro okay a boxer nike commercial is the cross a part of it no no okay. no the cross is just i wear a cross <laughs> there we go yes sir are you like a gym rat i was going gym teacher vibes but i'll oh, take the gym rat I, I made this outfit last second are you a wrestler some gym bro? Are you like somebody who goes to the gym a lot? Gym teacher. A gym teacher. Okay. So yeah, Sexy there. golfer. Four minute mile. Nike commercial. Gay. What is your opinion of short kings? No. Oh. No? Oh, dude, My whole channel is a bunch of short kings. No, they're fine. I like them, but I'm, okay. if I'm going to wear heels and I'm taller than you, it's not going to work But what if out. he's confident? What if he doesn't care? What if he's I'm like, sorry. No. Literally like an A. I, I'm a pussy for not doing that. The guys I have been attracted to have all been at least 6'4". How hard is it for you to find guys over 6'4"? Pretty hard. Yeah? It's like when you find that gem and they are not shit pieces of shit, then you're like, I do like them. My dating life has always been pretty uneventful, but as of recent... You might have found the one? Uh, fuck no. Oh, okay, never mind. No. <laughs> For the girls that want, do you want a real relate, like a good relationship? Yeah. So how does that make dating for you? Has that shifted where you can kind of, after one day you're like, okay, this guy only wants one thing? No, I think guys know to put on their best behavior on a first date. Okay. Like if they're really, really fucking stupid and it's usually after they get rejected and you're like, I don't see this going anywhere. Then they're like, oh, well, do you want to fuck? <laughs> and it's like, 
No. <laughs> Boys, now that was a lot to take in. So what I want to do is I want to rewind this to the beginning and go through a little breakdown of this entire video. The costumes. You guys saw it throughout the video. The costumes, I think, year by year tend to get worse. And what do I mean by worse? Some of you might be like, dude, they get better. Now, if you're single, yes, they get better. If you're in a relationship, they don't get better because this can be the make or break of a relationship. You saw the costumes. They're not really your typical party city, party outlet costumes. They're uh, more on the lingerie side. I think the biggest point that this brings up is insecurities and that's what girls think girls think if their guy doesn't want to going out they're insecure in reality is it insecurities or is it more of a respect i don't think guys want their girlfriend their girls to go out with pretty much no clothes on in an environment where it's just a bunch of drunk dudes and let me tell you dudes alone are horny Drunk dudes, they become very horny. So now you're putting yourself in a situation where whether your guy's an overthinker or not, just based off your costume, it's only bad news. Now, what really is the meaning of Halloween? Because I think we all know it's changed every time. Now, the good news is the girls are well aware of what they're doing. We asked how many girls throughout this video and they all said the same thing. I mean, even if they tried to hide saying it, their friend exposed them. The whole purpose is to be a slut. And that's not in a negative way. I mean, maybe it can be. As long as you know when you're aware, I think it's okay, especially if you're single. Go have, go live your best life. Go have fun, feel good about yourself. But where the problems come up is if you're doing this in a relationship without your man with you. I think going out with your man Halloween can be a great time for couples. But if maybe the girl's a partier and the guy's not, I think that's where you have to find that happy medium of balancing a healthy relationship because if you're going out surrounding yourself in a bar with these guys, your guy is gonna have issues. Whether you think he's insecure or not, there's going to bring a lot of red flags coming up because you know what you're doing. You know now the purpose of Halloween and it's only gonna get worse. Year by year, you see it. The costumes, guys, they're not even costumes. Now, this has led me to believe that Halloween is officially the number one holiday for single people or creating single people. So healthy relationships, are getting ruined. We chatted with the people, they said it. This is the make or break of a good relationship. Key takeaway guys, if your girl went out without you this weekend, she's no longer your girl. Keep your head up, gang. Welcome to the channel. Now, what is the difference between insecure men and having respect for your boyfriend? Now here's where I think girls get this wrong. We as guys don't care. If you wanna go out with your girls, you wanna go have fun, do your thing. We like boy time. We like having, you know, our away time from our girl. Even though we enjoy spending quality time with her, I think you need that equal separation of hanging out with friends, personal life, and your relationship. Now, here's where they get it wrong. Halloween comes around. They think, oh, this is an excuse to dress more provocative and put my man in a situation where I know he's going to be uncomfortable. A lot of these girls, again, said it throughout the video. They know that it creates issues. The bunnies at the end were the best example because they said they break up with their mans before because they know what's going to happen during Halloween. It's better to do that than to go cheat and want compliments from other guys. And I think that's that's the biggest question is, why do girls go out? Why do they dress the way they do? I know they say, I wanna feel good about myself. But why do you need to get compliments, get attention from other guys? If you're in a healthy relationship, you shouldn't want compliments. You shouldn't want other guys trying to hit on you, trying to pick you up, to make you feel good. This is where the boss babe mentality went wrong. You guys see boss babe going crazy now everywhere because of OnlyFans. Honestly, social media and the way they portray themselves. Boss babe, I want you to have your own career. I want you to do your own thing. There's also that fine line of disrespect. Once you figure that out and you're able to balance, okay, I'm doing my own thing, but I'm also respecting my significant other. And this is key if you're in a relationship. The only way a relationship is gonna work is communication, respect, and trust. Now, if you're going out and using holidays as an excuse, this is where you can break the trust. And is it really worth two nights getting wasted just to ruin a great relationship? I mean, it seems that way now with relationships going down and hookup culture going up. Closing this out strong for all of my short kings that struggle with confidence. At the end of the day, this channel is about self-improvement. We had entertainment, we had humor, but I wanna provide value for you guys at the end of the day. Cinderella, amazing individual, amazing person. With heels, she was 6'1". Would she wanna date a guy 5'6"? I'm pretty sure most guys 5'6 are going to be insecure, and this is where it is true. Like, if you're 5'6", you're probably not gonna go for someone that's 6'1", and heels that likes wearing heels. This is a very valid, very valid girl that can say, I prefer guys over six foot. If she's over six, I get that. But here's where the opposite side is. When you have girls that are five, three, five, two, five, one, that say, I need a guy over six foot. Guys, if you are wasting your energy, if you're getting offended by girls rejecting you that are shorter than you because they want a guy six foot, let them keep dreaming. The percentile of guys that are actually over six foot and meet all the requirements they want, there's a reason they're single. There is a big reason they're single. So what I want you to do anytime that happens, brush it off. Remember, you 
cannot let them offend you. You need to keep working on yourself, being the best version of you. As you guys keep building your empire and building the value you provide, you're going to attract the right girls. You're going to attract girls that deserve you. People are rushing into relationships in a society where relationships aren't really the hot topic because girls have unrealistic expectations. They like the quick hookups. They want to avoid the pain of falling in love and potentially losing that love. This is where I think us as guys, we need to take the step. If you don't want to hook up, don't hook up. The girl can't be the only one saying no to the hookup. So us guys need to take that step forward. Good news for you guys. We just went all in at the U. Longhorn tailgate specifically asking women how guys can make up for being short how they can appear more attractive before you get to know them Because once you get to know them, we got a great personality. We're funny That's not gonna be a problem But how do you win them over or get their attention while being short and they expose the deepest? Secrets that I didn't even know about so guys Make sure you take a second smash that subscribe button below because that uploads next week and you're not gonna want to miss it